Hello and welcome back to Incredible Inverse and other animals with me, Phil. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an idea for some invertebrate enrichment. Let's check it out. Okay, so here we go with an idea for some invertebrate enrichment, and that is blossoms. They can also use leaves as well. So this is at the zoo. Okay, this is a nice big cherry tree that is currently full of blossoms. So I've cut a load down and I've given them to some of the invertebrates. And you can see here the Madagascar and hissing cockroaches absolutely love these things. They absolutely take no time in devouring the blossoms and all the leaves and stuff. And I think it's not just enrichment, but it's also good nutrition for your invertebrates as well. So you can use things like this, uh, just for, not just for your pet invertebrates, but also uh, your live feeds as well. Here you can see a, uh, a giant peppered cockroach nymph ducking into a blossom here as well. But I absolutely love this time of year uh, because a lot of the trees around the park are in flower. So I do like to go around and uh, chop a few down. This is certainly one of their favourites, is uh, this uh, particular cherry tree. Here you can see uh, some sun beetles. they got a whole nice load in here as well. And again, they'll go for the flowers as well as the leaves. And as I said, this will give them uh, some nutrition that they're not getting every single day. So, so that's why they go for this sometimes over other things. Because it is very much like a treat for them, but a nice healthy treat. Now it's important to make sure that any kind of uh, browse that you might be cutting down or everything is either from well from somewhere that hasn't been sprayed with pesticides make sure you've got landowners permission so ideally you know plant some trees in your back garden or something or have somewhere where you know you can go and collect it from but it's very important that yeah it hasn't been sprayed with anything uh, just to make sure so i said you know the flowers absolutely work and what i like about it is well, it really helps lift an enclosure even just temporarily even if it's just for a day or two it really really makes the enclosure look you know that a little bit nicer and it creates a little bit of extra interest you've got extra climbing opportunities for a lot of animals as well and then because you've added more branches in and so if there's things like lichens on as well that's again another food source some of the uh tweaks and six you just leave in there and leave you know let them to sort of rot down eventually as well for some of the uh, animals as well, especially your sort of your detritus fours and so but i say this can be also really good for your live feeds as well to get again just some more nutrition into them uh so again things that you're not necessarily going to get in your know, commercial diets or by feeding fruits and vegetables and so as this kind of thing will change throughout the seasons so later on you know as sort of the spring goes on and then into summer when we don't have so many flowers we'll use a lot of leaves so things like willow hazel uh, as well as the cherry leaves as well kind of fruits and nuts uh, you know those sort of trees tend to be uh, the best and then like i say yeah things like willow as you can see this uh got great snails really really wanting to get to those uh, those flowers uh, to gear and eat that pollen uh, as well as uh, the petals and everything as well obviously they, there's some sweetness in there for them so they absolutely love it there's various things you can do as invertebrate enrichment and it's something that we have to think about as zookeepers we have to keep giving enrichment to our animals and our invertebrates should be no different and so potentially perhaps you guys can think of some things that you could do with your invertebrates to give them some enrichment too both like i say your pet ones and your live feeds okay guys so that was one idea for some invertebrate enrichment what do you guys think i absolutely love this method it's well, it's free if you've got trees that are blossoming in your area and kind of any other kind of flowers that are edible and also uh, branches or leaves. So any kind of fruit or nut trees often are uh, really good for that and willows as well. And I think it actually enhances an enclosure, you know, even just temporarily. It really lifts an enclosure for just for a little bit. And if you've got things like cockroaches, fruit beetles, anything like that, they absolutely love it. <laughs> but what do you guys think? Pop some comments down below. If you like this video, do give a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please do consider subscribing to the channel, channel or hitting that bell for notifications so you know next time I upload another video. But until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Take care and keep rocking.